Hey everyone and thanks for joining us for another Airbrush Asylum video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to airbrush some realistic blue fire using only three colours and we're going to do it in water based paints on a canvas. And that's right, water based paints. We're not using candies, we're just using ordinary water based paints and it's going to be quick, simple and easy to do. So let's get into it. So what I'm doing first is using my HPCS Iwata Eclipse. I am just applying a black base color to the canvas um, using a Trident uh, black which I've thinned out at about a 1 to 1 ratio. So I'm just getting a nice even coverage on that canvas and that'll be our base for our fire to sit on. So we're going to create this uh, blue real fire using these three colors. So you can see here I'm going to start off with the blue from Trident and then we're going to go over the top with our mixed uh, light blue color here which is basically um, it is it's just been mixed in a Createx reducer bottle but it is Createx illustration colors white mixed with a little bit of cerulean blue and you can just make that up as as you see fit you know whatever intensity you like but you still want it to be fairly opaque so that it gets coverage and then we're also going to use the illustration colors by createx the cerulean blue okay so they're the three colors so nice and simple um, water based paints as you'll notice so you don't have to do flames or real fire as such using candies I know that's a, a method that's been used for quite some time but um, it's not necessary and I'm going to show you how to do them using these three colors today as well as some true fire templates by Mike Lavalle. These are the just a couple that I've selected from the second degree burn set. Don't know yet if I'll use both but we'll just have them there to play around with. And the surface I'm working on is the canvas. I just painted it black and it's 250 mil by 250 mil. Okay, so starting with our Trident True Blue, we've reduced it down a little bit, again at about a one to one or slightly more ratio. Just thin it to whatever suits you best and what allows it to flow through the particular airbrush that you're using. I'm using a CMC Plus Micron by Iwata. This has a 0.23 mil needle in it and I'll uh, link up to a lot of these products that I'm using in this video below. Um, I'll put some affiliate links on there for you so you can easily find them and buy them if you like them. So I'm just using that blue to map out our first section of the flame. So you can see I'm using my template. So as mentioned earlier, these uh, the, the ones I'm using at the moment are just the True Fire templates by Art Tool, uh, created by Mike Lavalle, and this is the Second Degree Burn series, and I've just got one of the smaller templates that I'm using at the moment, and I'm just picking and choosing my shapes. So obviously every flame um, is going to be different. Like when you give it a go, whatever stencils you use, you don't have to use these Art Tool ones. Um, I just find them, I've had them for years and they just work really well. They've got all the perfect shapes that you need and um, time and time again I always find some really cool sort of shapes that I can use for different size flames um, because they all come in a kit. So but you can see I'm just mixing up from using the template as well as freehand airbrushing so that's the key. So you don't want to just use the template all the way through you want to also do some freehand as well and you notice I've um, got some smaller embers there as well so so that's pretty much it for the first layer so now we're switching to our white and blue mix so this is the white mixed with the Createx Cerulean Blue. And you can see I want it to be 
nice and opaque so the blue is only to give you that uh, slightly blue tone so that it ties in when we airbrush over the top of it but what I'm doing now is again similar step to before using my template so getting my sharp edges and then feathering out from there try and get a nice flow when you're doing it that's the hardest thing with the fire and very difficult to teach so you've got to kind of imagine it flicking up um, along the surface that you're painting so in this case a canvas I'm sort of imagining it sort of trickling up on that canvas so I'm just opaquing over the top I'm not necessarily following what I've done previously that's kind of my first layer um, that'll still shine through in the background and it'd be a lot more evident if we uh, did these flames on an automotive surface uh, once that clear goes on then you really get that 3d effect but for a canvas I thought bit, bit of like just something different and it shows you that even water-based flames on a canvas can look really effective so just keep going through that step follow what I'm doing on the video and then we're going to get to the next part very very soon so if this is the first time to the channel and first time checking out one of our videos thanks for joining us great to have you watching hope you're enjoying it so far we do lots of these sort of tutorial videos and lots of other formats as well so we'd love to have you as part of our community feel free to hit subscribe tap on that bell icon and that will notify you every time we put out new content So now that we've completed that layer of the white mixed with the blue, we've switched to our cerulean blue. And this is straight out of the bottle with a little bit of reducer. And I'm just applying that over the previous layer that we just completed. If you get a little bit of overspray, it's not the end of the world. It's just going to blend into either the black background or blend into our previous first tone of blue. But you can notice now that's starting to give that real flame look that we're after. And very simple to do, just spray over the top. Okay, so now that we've finished adding our cerulean blue, we're switching back to our white with blue mix and we're going to now hit all the highlighted areas. So again, using the edges of my template combined with my freehand. Now everyone does these flames differently. There's no exact method that works 100% the best possible surefire way. Just do what you feel comfortable with. If you want to add more layers, you can just repeat more and more layers. I just wanted to show you a real quick and simple way to do these blue fire flames. Um, I didn't want to go too in depth with numerous uh, layers of color, but it's as you can tell, it's pretty easy step by step. You can always add and tweak it the way you like it. The key really is to use a combination of the template 
as well as your freehand skills. So you want to be able to use the template to kind of draw a little bit. You kind of got to look at the shapes and match them up and sort of imagine how that's going to flow. It might take a little bit of practice if you're new to it. Um, it's just hard to get that flow straight off the bat, but hopefully this video will help you do that. So now that we've finished all of our highlighted areas, you can see the flames of getting that three-dimensional appearance. I'm coming back in with my cerulean blue. I just want to soften some of those highlights and blend them back into our previous cerulean blue tone. So you can see I'm not going over the whole lot this time. I'm just uh, knocking out some of those edges. So now that we've completed our flames, I'm just going to seal the canvas as I do with all of our artwork and I'm using that crystal coat matte varnish, it's just in an aerosol, you can see it splurted out a little bit to start with but that'll all blend in at the end so I'll give that a few good coats, let that dry and here we have our completed artwork. You can really notice now how the complete artwork's nice and smooth and even. That crystal coat just flattens out all of your paint and uh, just gives the uh, completed work a nice, perfect look. So I hope you enjoyed that video and you found it helpful. If you like our content, feel free to be part of our community. Hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon and that will notify you every time we put out new content. Until next time, go grab that airbrush and do some amazing artwork and we will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.